Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and I have an interview with a guy named Rowan who had the issue with red jumpsuit apparatus using one of his images without permission. Then he asked them for permission, and then he got a bunch of blowback from them, which isn't a good thing. And that story blew up all across the internet, including on Petapixel and Reddit and everywhere else. And I decided to drop him a line and got him on a phone call all the way from Australia, I believe. Uh, video wasn't working, but we have the audio. I wanted to get his side of the story, hear what happened, and then hear what the result and everything that has come out of it. So right now we have the interview. Okay, so I'm here with Rowan, who is the photographer who had the issue with red jumpsuit apparatus. It's a mouthful. I know they're from Florida. I've heard of them a long time ago. But tell me, the give us the cliff notes of the story and what happened. Okay, so essentially, uh, I was just browsing my Facebook uh, a couple of weeks ago. And a very familiar picture comes up. And I looked at it for a few seconds and, and thought, hey, that, that's, that's my picture. Um, but it, it wasn't the one that I'd posted online on, on my Flickr account. It was uh, cropped, uh, it had an Instagram filter or something of the sort put over it, um, and there was just absolutely no credit on the image. Um, for, for obvious reasons, I was, I was a little cranky about that. So I went, for, I went for a bit of looking just to make sure it was my picture. I compared the two, and, and I was 100% sure that it was my picture. So uh, then I just went and did a, bit of, did a bit of internet stalking and found their management email. Um, and then I sent them an email, um, which I'm sure you've read on my blog, um, it essentially just sort of says, hey, this is the picture you posted and I linked it to them. Uh, this is the original. This is my picture. Um, I'm sorry, but you don't have the rights to use it. Um, it was for the management company, sorry, for the media company that I was shooting for. Um, and if you do want to continue to use it, you'll need to pay me or you need to discuss it beforehand. And I, and I appreciate being, uh, permission being asked first. Um, and then I didn't hear back. Um, and a lot of my friends and myself, we went on their Facebook page and just sort of commented on the image saying, hey, come on, guys. Be fair. Um, you either need to like take, take this down or at least credit me for it. Um, and then once again, I heard nothing. And then eventually, I saw my name appeared uh, on the image, um, which I wasn't entirely happy about because it wasn't the original image that I created. Um, it had been modified to, to below a standard that I would have posted online. Um, so essentially, I sent them a quick Facebook message just to ensure they got my emails because maybe their their spam blocker got me or something. And then. That was my first response back. I got a little the, the smiley face emoticon, and then it just said, "I just said I'm going to take this further if, if nothing's done about it." And they just said, "Lol, go for it." So that was my first sort of, my first sort of issue with, with dealing with them, um, which was very frustrating. Um, and then essentially, I sent them another email saying, "Look, this is very unprofessional. I don't appreciate it, um, and and you need to do something about this." Um, their response in the email that uh, back to that was essentially, um, you know. We welcome this lawyer, in quotation marks. Um, it's because it's a picture of us, we're allowed to use it, um, and it's not for monetary gain. Uh, then I explained copyright rules to them, how copyright works, that it, it doesn't matter. You don't have the, right, the, the rights to use it. It is for monetary gain. Uh, essentially, a band's Facebook is for, is for earning money. It's for advertisement, so it is for monetary gain. Um, and then this band just sort of just went back and forward, um, just them, and then they, they contacted the media company I shoot for, um, and then they abused me to them. Um, and then after seeing that email, I, I've sent all of the correspondence between us to the media company, and then I had the full backing of them, and they've since blacklisted uh, Red Jumpsuit because of it. Well, who, who was then, responding back to you? Uh, I'm not sure. All of the emails just said, sent from my iPhone. That, that, was, that was all that was said. So I couldn't tell you who. All I know is that it was someone either in the band or their management. Right. Do you know wh which management company it was at this point? Essentially, their email is just, uh, it's just, it's just RJA Press. I mean, it, it, it wasn't, it was sort of, it's sent to them. So it, it, I'm not sure who, who manages them or, or who de deals with it. Okay. But I have a feeling it goes directly to them. All right. So what happened, uh, what ha what, where, are we st where do we stand now? Uh, essentially, um, I then decided to do a big blog post about it. A lot of people were asking me questions about, you know, what's it, where's it up to? What did they say? And I just thought, if they're going to be this rude, I, I feel a lot of people on the internet may benefit from this if they're facing the same situation. I just posted it on my, on my website um, and then I linked it to a few friends and then it just took off from there. Friends shared it and shared it. Somebody put it on Reddit. Um, I didn't post it anywhere further than my website. Then from Reddit, it went to 4chan um, and then from there on in, it, it, went from, it went from a bunch of different places um, and then uh, I think Washington Post 
uh, put it on their put it on their website. Really. Um, and then it's when it hit uh, it's when it hit uh, petapixel that it just took off. True. Um, and my my website crashed twenty or thirty times, and my brother is my IT manager, and he, he was struggling to get my site up because of the, all the traffic. Right. Um, now, isn't it isn't from, it interesting though that you know you go from not allow not wanting them to post the image on their site or on their Facebook without, I mean, would you have been fine with proper attribution with your image, your edited image as you saw it? Yeah, I would have been fine with it. If they just emailed it, hey, we love your image. Can we post your, your original um, with your name on it? I would have said, absolutely, that's, that's no problem. Like, thanks for sharing my image. And that, would have, that seriously would have been the end of it. Sure. And then it, it's just interesting that all of these other places pick it up, which are technically not for monetary gain, even though Petapixel and these websites are all for monetary gain. Did they ask for permission to use it, or are they just putting the picture up and just grabbing it and reusing it? Uh, Petapixel did ask permission. They sent me an email saying, is it okay if we share these? Cool. Um, and I think Petapixel and maybe one, other, one or two others um, did ask permission. The rest didn't. I mean, Reddit, I'm sort of okay with that. Reddit actually linked to my website, so that was sort of fine. But the people that did repost it, most of them asked permission, which I was, I was very grateful for. I'll ask for permission. Can I have permission now if we, when we post it? Yeah, go for it. Absolutely. Awesome. All yours. Um, what, what do you hope to get out of this at this point? Um, well, at, at this stage, it's finished. Um, I just wanted people to know about it. And um, after the whole Twitter issue and that, the hashtag of Rowan is a tool... Um, which sort of I didn't appreciate very much, as you'd imagine. Um, after that, essentially, I think somebody realized in their management or in the band, hey, we really need to jump on this bad press. Um, so Ronnie Winter, the lead singer of Red Jumpsuit, actually sent me a personal email and said, look, I'm really sorry this has happened. Um, I've found your invoice that you've sent through to us, and I'm going to pay it immediately. And he did. Um, and the money's in my account. Um, and we've sort of made amends, and Ronnie just couldn't be, couldn't be more apologetic. Um, and then... Essentially, after that, um, the whole issue with Red Jumpsuit is resolved. Now, what, what is it with them putting out all their music for free? Um, I have a feeling I've been looking around, and they were releasing something on the 4th of July uh, prior to this whole incident. So I have a feeling that that, that, was, that was always intended, like they were always intending on doing that. Mm -hmm. um, but I have a feeling they've gone, oh, how do we fix this bad press? And they, then they've announced that they'll be releasing their entire discography for um, for free on the 4th of July, right. um, which seemed to have actually backfired. Yeah, which nobody cares about. No. <laughs> to be honest. But the, the interesting thing is, uh, uh, I don't know if it was management that you were initially conver uh, conversing with or somebody in the band, but usually the band's not going to be a dick because the band understands that if somebody takes their music, they want attribution as well. Um, so you, you really don't know who was answering because it is possible that it was management doing it I, yeah I, I, have a, I have a feeling that it was actually somebody in the band just just their, their wording it mm. sort of kept saying you know our music our music right. and then when I pointed out the issue of you know how do you guys feel with someone stealing it they just said look it's the 21st century there's the internet and we know people steal it and we've, we've just let it go Right, um, so, so really, was interesting. The, the thing here gets blown out of proportion because you weren't looking for very much. You weren't, you weren't looking for money in the first place. You were just looking to get your image, some attribution, and the original one put up, correct? Exactly, that's it. And then when they uh, gave you some blowback, that's when you decided to send them an invoice? Yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, nobody should be treated like that. And at the end of the day, uh, it doesn't really solve anything for anyone if, if they just take the image down, put the original up, after all that abuse, I mean, if everyone, if everyone just did that, then no one would ever pay for an image, would they? No, I, but we're, we're kind of at that juncture in this day and age, which brings up a story for me to discuss on Raw Talk pretty much, is the whole Getty images going free, images going free, music going streaming, um, the industry totally changing. So it's, it's an interesting place that we're in right now. It certainly is. So moral of the story here. Uh, it's been resolved as the lead singer has made amends with you directly. Uh, yep. How has this benefited you? Have you, the, like the positive press on your hand, has anything come out of it? Jobs, uh, offers, anything? Uh, no jobs as, as of yet. Uh, I've had a hell of a lot of offers for beer. Uh, a lot of people have said if you're in my area of the world, um, they'll buy me a beer. Uh, I think my website at the currently is just over 100,000 views in three days. Hmm. Um, which, which is pretty astounding for me. My usual view rate is about 200 a month. Right. So it, it's just exploded. 
Um, but yeah, abs- no jobs yet, but I am expecting some soon. Oh, well, see, that's, I mean, turned it into something good. I mean, you didn't do anything wrong. You stood up for what you believed in, in a way, in a way that you weren't being forceful, like we've seen happen. And I'll just point out Max Jackson, the way that he went about the color run thing. Um, yeah, absolutely. I did see that. And as soon as I started this, actually, somebody said to me, hey, be careful. Don't do what that photographer did for the color run. And I, I kept that in mind. I was like, yeah, let, let's try to keep this positive. Yeah, the, the fact that you asked first and then had an issue and then asked for money is perfectly fine. Because I, I'm of the ilk that if somebody uses your image by accident, it's going to happen today. And it's going to happen more often than not. And when you point it out, they say, oh, I'm sorry, what could we do to rectify the situation? But when you get the total backwards ass thing, that's when you start to flip out and that's when you go and, and, and really go after somebody. Because it's really not a big, it's not a huge deal anymore. It's just give me my credit, please. That's all I ask for. Exactly. That's all I want. I mean, I've spent tens of thousands of dollars in camera gear. I, I mean, I, I spend my, my time and effort going to shows, shooting shows, going home and editing. And if, if all of that just ends up in somebody taking my image, no credit, I mean, what what's in it for me kind of thing. I mean, my sure. hard work goes nowhere. All right. Rowan, I think you've done a great job here. Hopefully something comes out of it, all the positive publicity. Hopefully you get jobs uh, mm-hmm. and end up benefiting because you did this right. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for talking to me. All right, man. Have a good one. Okay, see you later. All right, so there you have the interview with Rowan. Very interesting, very well-spoken kid. Um, I hope good things happen. I hope he gets some jobs out of this, and I hope other bands start calling and make things happen. That would be great. A lot more to discuss about this on Frono's Photo Raw Talk, which is at fronosphoto.com slash podcast. This episode is going to air shortly that we are going to talk about a lot of different music things, uh, and it's going to be very interesting. So thank you guys for watching Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.